So we're going to look at a couple of things today. One of the things we're going to look at is just taking an isometric like we have here on, on the paper and turning that into a multi-view. And we'll also look at going the other way around with it. So going from a multi-view to an isometric. So we got this view. And what we want to do now is create the front, the top, and the right side of it. So the very first thing I'm going to do is decide what the front view should be. I'm going to go with right here, this being the front view. So I'm going to draw that down here, and, and I'm going to try to keep it in scale. So I'm going to count the squares, and I'll do that with the red. So I'll say that's one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So if I'm looking at that, I'm going to start with, I'll just start with the vertical. So I'll say one, two, three, four, five. And then it comes over seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it looks like the height of this is two blocks. So right in there is two, so I'll go ahead and draw that. Let's say two here. And then I need to come out and figure out what this is right here. So that looks like one, two blocks again. So I'm going to come over here and do it this way. So I'll count how many blocks we're going down here and say one, two, three. So then I have my front view here, one, two, three. And then really it's just a matter of connecting the dots. And we'll, we'll leave it like that. The next thing we actually want to do is create the top view. So if we were a bird and we're flying over this thing, what's that going to look like for us? So we'll come up and, and these lines, the nice thing is, is they'll project up. So I'll use those blue ones to project it. And we're going to line up something like this. All right. So if I take a look at the top view now, I know that I have a line from here to here. That's my length. Then I know it looks like we have one, two blocks, three, four, five. Okay, but remember there's a void here in this area. So I'm going to come up and say one, two, skip a block, and say one, two. So that gives me the five. While I'm here, I can go ahead and say, how, how far back does it go in here? So I'll look at my ISO and say, one, two, three. So I'll see, there's, there's a line. There's a line. Now this line is going to project up. I would actually see that on the top view, right? So I would see this on the top. So that's going to look something like this. And then I'll go ahead and connect these. And then I also know that there's a little there's a little void here too, right? So I'm looking and it looks like one, two, three blocks. So something like that. That's gonna be our top. So we'll call this one down here. We'll call this one the front. We'll come up here and I'll write top up here. Now we do, we want to go ahead and get a side view over here too. So we take that and we just kind of project these lines off. We know we need to line up with these. And then we'll go ahead and draw that object as well. So this, this right side view we know it's this tall. We also know that we're across here. There's five, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Remember, there's a void there, but it'll look a little different from the front or from the right side here. One, two, three, four, five. And remember, there's a gap right here of just one block. So there's one, two, there's a line. Then there's the gap of one and then there's another two 
looking across here, we got to draw this line in, don't we? Something like that. We'll go ahead and extend this up. And just by looking at different views, I know that it's going to do something like this. Now, what we could also have done is we could have went ahead and drawn in our hidden lines as well. So we'll call this the right side, though. So we know that this right here, this little hole or this little cutout, we can't see on the front view. But if we projected a line, we draw this really lightly, it's going to line up in there, right? So I'll just come in here and say, all right, you are a hidden line. We can also do the same thing over here, right? That's going to be a hidden line. So we'll just project. I'm just kind of trying to draw that line, but it's a little difficult to do with a pen. So then we'll draw these hidden lines. Had I had these hidden lines in as I drew, I could have actually just extended those and projected them out, right? And then it would have lined up perfect. So that's how we take an ISO and we go to a multi-view.